So a lot of you have probably never heard of the secret of co-integration, which was pretty much the remit of institutional traders until uh, people like Patriot Finder and others began bringing it out into the retail trading market. What the heck is co-integration and why does it matter to me? Well, to put it simply, if it's used correctly, co-integration can help make you rich. Let me explain. Back in February 2015, two econometricians, Nicholas Huck and Komivi Afawubo, published a rather extraordinary piece of research in applied economics that should interest any equity trader. Their phenomenal research is titled, Pairs Trading and Selection Methods, Is Co-Integration Superior? But first, a quick primer on a consistently profitable hedge fund secret. What is co-integration? Investor Dictionary defines it as co-integration is an economic technique for testing the correlation between two non-stationary time series. Are you asleep yet? I think I faded out a bit on that one too. Let's cut to the chase and I'll explain it to you simply in the context of how it applies to your trading success. Let's take the example of a drunkard's walk. Suppose you see two drunks, one, two representing two random walks wandering around. The drunks don't know each other, they're independent, so there's no meaningful relationship between their paths. You can go this way, you can go up that way. There's no in, they're independent and there's no meaningful relationship. But suppose instead, let's take a different example, you have a drunk walking with her dog. This time there is a connection. And what's the nature of that connection? Well, notice that if you look at these paths, that although each path individually is still an unpredictable random walk, given the location of one of the drunk or the dog, we have a pretty good idea of where the other is. That is, the distance between the two is fairly predictable. What do we mean by that? For example, if the dog wanders too far away from his owner, he'll tend to move in her direction to avoid losing her as she is the one who's gonna let him into the house. If she wanders too far from the dog, she will go back to him or call to him to come as she doesn't want to be woken up with barking at the door. So the two, as the, the drunk and here's the dog, stay close together despite a tendency to wander around on their own. We describe this relationship by saying the drunk and her dog form a co-integrating pair. Now for stocks and how to apply this to, as we said in the beginning, to try and make you rich. So if stock A and stock B over time are co-integrated, it means that the price ratio between the two, A over B, is likely to revert to its mean if it diverges substantially from that mean. Let's take an example here, Juniper Networks and Lumentum Holdings. They're, they're co-integrated and they're correlated. A chart of their relative performance over the last year shows that whenever the performance diverges, it tends to reconverge. So they started the year here at zero, and this is a, a chart of the daily performance of each of these. The green is Juniper, and the blue is Lumentum Holdings. So Juniper started the year stronger, and its relative performance versus Lumentum diverged. There's a bunch of space between these two lines. And when that gets to a high enough level, that's something we can look to trade. But what you'll see is that even though they, they had very different be, uh, beginnings of the year, they did reconverge in relative performance. Again, further along in the year, they diverged substantially and then they reconverged. And right after they reconverged, they again diverged and that fully reconverged later on. So it's this divergence, reconvergence, divergence, reconvergence, divergence, reconvergence that's, that's the nature of the co-integration. And as two highly liquid U.S. equities, JNPR and Light relationship is tradable. This relative performance, divergence, reconvergence, a co-integrated relationship can be seen in the reversion of Juniper Light price ratio to its mean. This is the 100-day moving average over the last year. And every time it diverges, red arrows, it then quickly reconverges. And these E's are entries on trades, X's are exits on trades. And you can see every one of these trades on this pair was profitable over the last year, although this one went offside and got into pretty negative numbers, uh, it did eventually come good. So 
Every time it diverged, it reconverged, diverged, reconverged, diverged, eventually reconverged, diverged, reconverged quickly, diverged, reconverged quickly, diverged, reconverged pretty quickly. Okay, so that's how that becomes tradable. Co-integration, people talk a lot about correlation and co-integration in pairs trading. Look, co-integration surpasses correlation as a pairs trade selection method. In pair trading, to make a profit, we need the ratio of the prices of stock A and stock B to revert to its mean, as I showed you on the previous page. Correlation measures the tendency of two stocks to move together. However, two positively correlated stocks may continue to diverge despite the correlation. So stock B is going up. Stock A is also going up. So they're correlated. Their relative price, they're correlated. Um, they have a positive correlation between them. But trading a reversion between the price of A to the price of B will lead to ever widening losses. Okay, there's no reason why they need to reconverge. They're just moving in the same direction. That's what correlation means. Co-integration, on the other hand, means that they will reconverge or have in the past. Okay, now let's take this illustration back to that very important research paper we were talking about. Allow us to paraphrase the holy grail findings of this technical paper. Their chart is worth a thousand words. Okay, so here's this chart I'm talking about. And this chart shows the results of different pair trade selection methods using the S&P 500 stock universe. And it goes from August 2000 to September 2011. And it uses three different methods in their study. They use the distant method, which uses correlation, the stationarity method, and the co-integration method, which is what we've been discussing. And it, it is graphing here the cumulative excess returns, including transaction costs, of pairs trading strategy with a two standard deviation opening trigger versus the equity premium. Let's go into that in a bit more detail. Again, they used a two standard deviation entry stretch and a zero standard deviation exit stretch. They use one year look backs and two year look backs. And as we can see, distance and stationarity meet, uh, beat the equity market premium, but not by a huge margin, though they did much better and they didn't have the drawdowns in these market crashes. However, the excess return generated by a co-integration based pair selection strategy is radically positive. This is the two year look back. This is the one year look back. And look at where they are 10 years later, almost 10 times their money. And on this one, almost six or seven times. With a one year look back, two standard DV entries, entry stretch, and zero standard deviation exit stretch, co integration based stock pair trading delivered an average 1.75% excess returns per month, unlevered over 134 months, with a 67% win rate. This is over 134 months. Using a three standard deviation entry stretch and a zero standard deviation exit stretch, results are even more impressive, delivering an average 5.66% excess return over the market per month, unlevered over the same period. That's 134 months with 76% winning trades. That last scenario generates a capital value 10x greater after 11 years than just receiving the equity premium, with little or no drawdown in the 2008 market meltdown. To quote the authors, Including transaction costs, robust strategies are the following. Co-integration, and this is for pair trading selection methods. Co-integration, whatever the length of formation, look back period, or the opening trigger, two standard deviations or three standard deviations. Returns are especially high with monthly excess returns, including transaction costs, greater than 1.38% and going up to about 5% over a period of more than 10 years. These are clearly the main and most impressive empirical findings of this article. That's why we wanted to highlight this to you. And that's why we think every equity trader should know this study. Bottom line, if you have a powerful trading software that can perform the millions of calculations necessary to find highly co-integrated stocks and generate simple entry and exit signals of when to trade them, which can be auto traded into IBTWS with just one click, you can capture the potential profits these co-integrated pairs represent. Pair Trade Finder Pro, our software platform that we created in 2008 and has been running for over 14 years, does this job magnificently, we believe. Not only that, it's simple and easy to learn, and it can protect you in the event of a market meltdown. It also works in all types of markets, bull market, bear market, and sideways. What's more, we've done the heavy lifting 
And when you subscribe, we preload it with an updated set of top U.S. equities pairs that are, are highly co-integrated. And Geek Alert, we use the co-integration augmented Dickie Fuller test, and we call it co-integrated when the pairs have a p-value of less than 0 0.10. These top U.S. equities pairs that we've preloaded into PearTrade Finder Pro and we'll call immediately trading signals, immediate trading signals are a great way to turbocharge the building of your pairs trading system. And we will show you how. And remember, all subscribers to Pro V2 receive free access to our four hour pair trading video training course taught by a professional pair trader. So happy trading and subscribe now.